When I was 18 years old, I was a squad leader in the United States Marine Corps. I could bring an F-14 Phantom in and drop napalm on a village with no other authorization but mine. No pilot ever asked me, how old are you, kid? I would just say, give me high explosive, and I need it right now. And they would do it. That's the way that war was ran. That's the way the war was ran. My first day in the field, coming off the helicopter, we made contact and were taking, was taking fire from a village. And we leveled the village. I mean, we really did. Uh, it was my first five minutes off the helicopter. And I kept thinking to myself, I've got 364 more days of this, you know. Uh, once we recovered the bodies, we had three dead North Vietnamese soldiers, two older ladies, and two babies. Four or five-year-old children were dead. And I remember coming over. I was a radio operator at the time. I was carrying a radio for my lieutenant and looking at these bodies and saying, okay, we, we killed them to liberate them. Uh, and I kept thinking, there's something fundamentally wrong here. You know, we weren't taught in Paris Island to shoot children and old women. But suddenly that was the norm. You know, could we have done something different? We were taking fire. I don't think so. Should we have been there in the first place? Hell no. Anybody that tells me they came back normal, no, it's impossible. It's impossible. You can't, you can't cross that bridge. You burn that bridge when you go, and there's no coming back. No coming back. <laughs>